hey, hey, everyone. April Fools. <laughs> no, I'm really doing it about CERN. I'm not fooling you. Um, this is an interesting day to do this, though. And so much has come out today that I couldn't even get on the chat uh, because I've got stuff like hitting me about this topic right now. Very, very interesting. So I really want to get into this quickly, but I've got a couple of notes in front of me. So let's just get this party started, as all of you say, and um, and we'll get we'll get uh, right into it. I got 14 pages of notes, giving me a little idea. Okay. And I had to stop. I could do this all day. There's so much about this topic. Okay. My top. Oh, see, my green screen gets messed up. Anyway, look at this. It is so gorgeous. Um, v neck, bottom. I mean, I can't stand up. I don't want to start modeling this stuff, but you know, it's very, very stretchy. This is a small, you can see, it's just amazing. Um, the color is like, uh, if, uh, if like teal and, um, foam green had a baby, that's this color. It's that awesome. Um, the bottom is like a, uh, a weekender with a slit. Very, very roomy, very comfy. You actually can size down, Jenna said, okay? Um, also, there are, what did she say? There are only seven of these left. This is gold. She brought the gold over to me yesterday on Easter, and I went, yay, I got gold, though. So uh, the gold, there's only seven golds left. The silver is sold out. Not sure when we're going to get them again. So if you want one, you better get over there and get them. These things go like that. Okay, both the top and the necklace, she said, are linked in the description below the video. They're also, if you go to joyandcountry.com and you go up to the top, it's Dolores Closet. You go in there and um, that's where this stuff is, okay? Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff too. This stuff that I wear. Um, all right, let's see what else she said. First time orders, use code WELCOME10. That gets you 10% off. And remember, U.S. Shipping is always free, and Jenna's name is Jenna, so we call her Jenna-zan because she gives free shipping. <laughs> All right, cool. Also, uh, we are taking it back.com. Now, that's our second, our other fundraiser. If you go there, you'll get information about it. That is not the store we partnered with, the American Made Family Store. That's not it. That will tell you about it. And then you put your name and your email in there, I mean, your phone number, and then we'll text you, okay, and tell you all about it. And um, the reason I'm saying that today is because uh, I was thinking about it today. I think either Friday or next week, I'm doing a show on who owns your food. What I saw today, my mind, like, I was, I know a lot about food. And I'm going to give you a lot of my hints and tips, maybe even some recipes. So uh, you want to do that. But that's what got me thinking about we are taking it back.com. Okay. So joyandcountry.com, we are taking it back.com, helps us do the gatherings, is now forging impact centers. I'm going to explain that to you as soon as we get it up on the website. We're working hard. It's just, there's so much, so much time in a day. I pray for like 26 hours, but it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Big week, big week. Um, Wednesday and Friday, not sure where I'm going yet. I got so much stuff on the North Pole. I got so much stuff on who owns your food. I got so much stuff on Tartaria. I don't know where to go. You know, this brain, what's in here, I'm trying to get out here. And it's kind of hard, as Dennis said. He doesn't understand me half the time. Anyway, okay. Uh, Fab Four, Rumble, big show Friday. Uh, we're back. We didn't do last week because of the uh, holiday weekend. But um, Fab, go to Rumble. Delora O'Brien, The Gathering. Uh, subscribe over there and you will get, and then if you go here, you'll get notified. Okay. You just subscribe to our website. Go check us out. If you don't know who we are, that pretty much says it, says everything about us. Okay. Then Solomon's Porch this Sunday, that's our online church service uh, on Rumble, same channel at six Eastern. Okay. Done. Get that out of the way. All right. Time to do my dance and uh, I'm excited. So that's why I do my dance all the time. I love nothing more than revealing truth. It's got me into a lot of trouble with a lot of people and a lot of times in my life. But I don't care. All of that brought me here. And the fact that I get to now share that, but I have to be very careful on here, guys. Very careful. So I will say the name once. And then after that, I will say C. Okay? Just so you guys understand. 
at the end of this, I don't know, we may have five minutes for questions because this is long um, and I'm going to move through it. But what you're going to have to do is you put three question marks in a and a question about this, not about one I've done, not about one I'm going to do. OK, three question marks, uh, question about this today. I don't have all the answers. I'm not God. Sometimes I'm wrong. I'm human. Forgive me. But um, I don't I don't have you know, I'm not. And, and, and if you hear from anyone that thing says they do have all the answers, run skedaddle out of there, because that means they probably have zero answers. OK, and this is an Illuminati thing, guys. Somebody wrote to me and said, you always do. That's an Italian thing. Okay. It's Italian. It's not Illuminati. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So let's do this. Um, this is about, this off the cuff is about CERN that is on the border in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. Uh, from here on in, I will say C. It's it, it, that word C-E-R-N does not it is not an acronym it doesn't stand for anything it the place is called the nuclear organization for european research okay so let's start with this basics and then i'm going to go into some stuff that's going to blow your mind i'm going to connect it to something i did where i'm going to show you i told you everything connects to one place on this earth another earth in another earth, another place and i'm going to show you where it does so here's the logo it is pretty interesting Logo's up on top. That is the C logo. Isn't that interesting? Okay. That's what it is right there. Those three numbers. I find it bizarre. But let me tell you what's, what. let me uh, dispel a lot that's online that is using for clickbait. People are writing to me. They're nervous. They're scared. Guys, listen. Let me give you the, let me give you the timeline of C, okay? Don't argue with me on this. You go online and find it yourself. Don't tell me, no, you're wrong. I don't want to hear that. you got to prove it to me, okay? I love hearing people give me, say, well, what about this? What about that? But this is not true what they're saying. C is not going to reopen on April 8th. Let me give you the timeline, okay? Ugh, drives me crazy. I just, you know, uh, it's. I just got a, a, a video sent to me. 556,000 views with this big headline. C reopens on April 8th, 2020. It's not true. It's clickbait. So let me give it to you. Let me give it to you what happened, okay? Um, it It is 70 years old. It was the 50s that it opened, okay? Every couple of years, it shuts down. So this is how what happened. Let me bring you back to 2018. It shut down in 2018. It reopened. Get this date. 2-22-2022. That's a show right there. I'm not going down that road. Okay? Go look it up what those things mean in the occult. Um, it will now be open and running until October 8th of this year. Then it will reopen with a new, more powerful collider in 2026. So what does April 8th have to do with anything? Why is everybody jumping on this with C? Let me explain to you why. Um, uh, on April 8th, uh, there's a, 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 in physics, there's a, a thing called 6.8, capital T, small e, capital V. Okay, those are experiments. That experiment uh, is happening now, but they're expected to do a bigger one on April 8th. But this has been happening right along. But what is interesting is on April 8th, the, the, um, that 6.8 TV, an even more powerful one, is going to happen on April 10th. So it's not, guys... Please, I'm going to tell you all kinds of nefarious things about C, but don't believe people. Look it up yourself. Go on that website. Check. See, people that go on X, people that work for CERN, What ugh, that just look. Don't take people's word for it. I Look, I can't prove this. 
But my gut tells me 90% of the people that are getting these monster numbers because they put this, you know, these sensational headlines, it's, it's fake. It's false. They're either disinformation specialists getting paid to do that, or they're part of the DS. You, you got you to gotta get smarter. You got to get smarter. Okay, so here is what I'm going to, I'm going to go through. Just people already asked me, what does it do? Jeanette, I'm getting there. Just let me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Trying to get through this. All right. So I established that it's running right now. What is interesting is they are changing the name of C. Now, why would they change the name of C? Because it's got a bad rep. That's why. Because people are getting awake. That's why. Because it's everywhere what they're doing. So guess what they're changing the name to? Let me get it for you. Network of experiments for research and development in society. Nerds. The acronym is NERDS. Cute little name, NERDS. Oh, what could they be doing there? They're doing things for society. Let me show you their new logo. Now, I could do all kinds of stuff with this. But, you know, I mean, I'm not one that's going to, like, make things up. So I saw, you know, a couple things. What could be a couple eyes? couple. Of, but then... I turned it upside down because so much stuff, when you turn them upside down, they say something. But as long as they got it in plain sight, they're covered. Here it is upside down. So what do I see there? I see a dome. I see a sun and I see a moon, but the sun is outside of the one small round thing, it's gone beyond that. This is in plain sight, guys, right in plain sight. Now, you can give me your opinions, what you think it is, what you're not. That's what I see. Maybe it's because that's my head, okay? All right, so um, what, what I find almost miraculous just came out, just, just, just came out. There is something called the white rabbit community in C right now in Geneva. White rabbit is a technology developed here uh, in, co in collaboration with other companies and stuff. And what it does is it synchronizes devices down to the sub nanoseconds. And it says it solves the challenge of establishing a common notion of time across the world. Really, do I care? Do you really care what's going on with sub nanoseconds? Here's the group. That's the group. That's the group that's working on White Rabbit. Um, anyone remember what White Rabbit is in Alice in Wonderland? Remember Alice in Wonderland went down the rabbit hole and all of reality was revealed to her? That's the technology that White Rabbit is working on. Let me continue. So what is CERN? It's basically a, a, a group of um, countries. 12 to start, interestingly enough. They're the same ones except for the United States that also is involved in the Antarctic Treaty. Now many more are getting involved. First, it was first Europe. Now they had to change their name to nerds because now it's not European anymore. Now it's the whole world. So where do they get their funding? 99% of their funding comes out of, wait for it, the Vatican. The Vatican funds C, almost all of it. Now, a the countries, a few countries give a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there, so you can't say that Vatican funds the whole C, 
But you must understand the Pope is a figurehead and a cover for the Vatican. Okay? So that's where they get it. Now, what is it? It's a large hadron or hadron collider, LHC. That's what it's called. And a collider, let me read it to you. I'm not a scientist, so I'm going to have to read it verbatim. The LHC is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. I'm going to explain to you what that is. Um, it was built between 19... Gigi, hold that. Hold that. This is... Guys, get with me here. If you don't get with me here, when I get to the end, you're going to be asking questions that I already covered. I can't go there right now, okay? I can't answer a question right now. I'm laying a foundation. Allow your mind to get involved in this conversation. It's affecting your world right now. It's affecting your world. So please listen and don't ask questions now because I'm not going to ask them. I'm not going to answer them, okay? Um, the LHC is the world's largest and highest particle collider. I'll explain what that is in a minute. It was built... Um, this was open in the 50s, but this LHC that is really affecting the world was built between 1998 and 2008 in collaboration with 10,000 scientists, hundreds of university and laboratories across 100 countries, okay? It lies in a tunnel, seven, and it's 17 miles long. I happen to believe that tunnel goes right to Antarctica. I can't prove it, but I'll, I will tell you that when I do another one, why I, I know that to be true. Uh, it, but it's 17 miles uh, in circumference and uh, it's, it's 574 feet deep, okay? Now, uh, at the end of 2018, it was shut down for maintenance. I told you that, further upgrades. Okay, they are staying open until the end of 2024. Um, very bizarre uh, that the end of 2024, and then they're going to close. Um, the term hadron refers to subatomic composite particles composed of quartz held together by a strong force. So basically, it's a particle accelerator. Atoms, okay, uh, uh, protons, neutrons, and what they do is they spin at almost the speed of light and crash into each other, creating all these things, okay? And, and portals and creating black holes and creating all these things that are going on that we know very little of, okay? Um, what I find interesting is that in front of it, I don't want to, did I to bring this? I don't want to show you this. Let me take it. No, I didn't do it, and I'm glad I didn't. Um, there's a statue of Shiva in front of C. Um, in the occult, Shiva is one of the most important gods, okay? Very big in Hinduism, and it's the god of destruction. They consider him a supreme being. I saw a video, okay? Um, you can look it up. It's on YouTube. Uh, and, and the guy at the end freaked out. So you don't even see it happening. Uh, believe it. Don't believe it. You make, you make your mind up. I didn't want to show you it on here. So you can go look it up, put Shiva, uh, whatever, you know, see, and, and you'll see it. Um, what, what it shows, if you don't want to go see it is a group that works there, a group of, of, uh, of, I think it was like seven or eight, um, people went out to the statue this night. This is a few years back. And all of them were dressed in hooded robes. And it it looked like they sacrificed a woman in front of the statue. They laid her down and they went like this with a knife. Now the guy, you'll see what happens if you go see it. Um, whether it was real or just an enactment, I don't know. But it was too disturbing for me to put up here. Now that says a lot, right? right there. The fact that they even allow this to happen at night. And that place is that place is surrounded like it's Fort Knox, like it's a fortress. 
Okay, you can't get anywhere near there. Um, so here they are. They're 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 smashing particles together, um, and 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 they're all these things are happening. But you got to understand, this is one uh, probably the largest. But there are many colliders around the world. Uh, you can go look at look up where there are colliders. Um, and, and in essence, though, uh, the LDC, uh, LDH, at, no, LDC, at um, LHC, I'm sorry, at in Geneva is the largest. And, and that's the one when they began, they were looking for what they called the God particle. Okay. Now, Leon Letterman, an author, wrote a book. And he was also a scientist about the God particle. He originally wanted to call it the God damn particle, uh, but it, it was the 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 his publisher said no, it's not going to work. People aren't going to read the book, and and we have to make money. That's what he wanted to do. He's an atheist, uh, and 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 he a lot of what he's saying has to do with C and the collider. Okay. Now, in 2009, the CERN director then, his name is Sergio Bertolucci, um, uh, he was the uh, director of research, said, and I'm quoting him, out of this door, portal, might come something we don't know of, or we might send something through it. Now, if you've ever watched any of the series called Stargate, that's exactly what the doorway or portal in C in Geneva looks like. You can go look that up. I mean, I don't have enough. If I show a picture for all this, I'll never, I'll never get through any of it. The same year in 2009, uh, Anthony Patch, another researcher, commented on Bertolucci's statement. And this is what he said, quote, this, what he's saying about Bertolucci, and more can happen because of the mon money that's funding C. This is what I told you. This is his quote. It comes straight out of the Vatican. But then again, the Pope is just a figurehead. And the Vatican is who everyone takes their orders from. Very interesting. I think a lot of us knew that. A lot of us supposed it. Uh, this is what this man that works at C is saying. Now, there's many scientific theories in physics they are trying to prove that aren't really important to us, but there are a couple that are. They're trying to prove that there are extra dimensions uh, predicted by models in something they call the string theory. They're doing tests about gravity. Remember I told you gravity was just a theory? No one has ever proven the reality of gravity. It's called the theory of gravity, like the theory of evolution, okay? Uh, and they're testing dark matter. That's a hypothetical form of matter. Um, in, in 2012, they discovered the God particle. There were a couple of scientists who were not happy with the work that was being done at CERN. Now, believe it or not, here's a couple of them that are going to blow your mind. Stephen Hawking. He's the one he has a, a, a form of a multiple sclerosis or dystrophy. Uh, you see him, he even has a, he's not alive now, but he had a, a voice uh, attachment because he couldn't speak. And he said he was very concerned about this collider opening up a black hole, which could, which could swallow up the whole world. Now, I don't, I don't believe that. This is coming out of his brain, brilliant guy. But an atheist, you know, from what I know, maybe he wasn't, but an atheist from what I know, and uh, and a and a nuclear uh, astrophysicist and scientist. Okay, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now let me tell you who he is. He is actually the NASA spokesperson person that is everywhere trying to disprove flat Earth. That's what he's. That's what he does. This is what he said. He is an astrophysicist. But he is now the main spokesperson and he fights anyone who who believes that the earth could be something other than round. But I'll tell you what he said in a minute at a, at a newer 
uh, uh, YouTube video. He was concerned because he said some paranormal things were happening at sea due to the experiments and a concern to open up different dimensions. Um, I don't want to go down what he said about this because then I'm going to go down that road. You guys are going to start asking questions. I don't want to do it. Okay. Now we know there are four dimensions. Okay. We are really living in the third dimension, but if you add time to it. So we live in length, width, and width and depth. Okay. But time is also part of our dimension. So really it's kind of four dimensions. The fifth dimension is the spirit world, second heaven. Okay. Basically what they're trying to do. If you look at any of their stuff, they've got things in the sky they did. You look at all the, the stuff I, 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 about CERN on, on YouTube. My goodness. And look at the sky, what they're doing. They're trying to punch a hole into the fifth dimension. They have no clue that they come down. And, and they're, what these people don't understand is that not only are demonic powers in, in the fifth dimension among us, they're possessing these people to punch a hole into even more. Maybe the pit, let everybody out. I don't know. I don't know. But they're totally unaware because they live in like, this is real. This is real. This is not real. And what is interesting is this is temporal and this is eternal and they don't get it. So they're trying to punch a hole into that dimension. So it mind blowing to me. Now there is a guy his name is Jordy Rose. If you want to look him up, it's G-E-O-R-D-I-E, -E, not Jody, Jordy Rose. He founded the first quantum computer and the first robotic company. I'm going to connect these. Uh, he sold these to NASA and other U.S. government agencies. His goal was by 2030 that AI would replace every person in every as, uh, aspect of life. He was the founder of D-Wave. He was the founder of Kindred. It's two companies that he own, owns, okay? The first company, D-Wave, uh, has a quantum computer in his own terms, in his own words, that goes into other dimensions, okay? This is a quote from Jordy Rose. These things that we are summoning, Remember, he's a computer guy. These things that we are summoning into this world right now are not demons. They're not evil. They won't necessarily be aligned with what we want, though. And this transformation is important for our species to navigate. And no one is paying attention. People are bickering about politics. But there is a rising tsunami that could wipe us all out. This is the man that created it. Okay. That's what I keep telling you. We're bickering about this. We're bickering about that. You got to look past this stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to, should I show that now? Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Um, hmm. uh, no, let me keep going. Let me keep going. It's it, I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to follow what I have. Uh, Jordy Rose said that he is the only quantum computer that is interacting with beings from other dimensions. Now, I don't know how many of you understand what the Mandela effect is. I was just talking to Dennis about this. Very interesting. Um, hang on a second. Hold on. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. Give me a minute. I can't find it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. The Mandela effect, <clears throat> what Jordy Rose said, is, um, is, is, is quantum computers changing the past and we don't know that the past was changed. Okay. Uh, uh, he said, people say it's conspiracy and it's against him, but it it's supposedly, according to him, the Mandela effect is changes the past after you've already experienced it. So remembering something in the past, um, it seems false to you. For example, and I blew Dennis's mind with this, Mr. Monopoly, 
<coughs> Do you remember what Mr. Monopoly looks like? I should have I should have posted this. You know what it is, guys? I only have I use StreamYard as a platform and I only have so many spots and then I can't use them anymore. But Mr. Monopoly had a hat on, a tuxedo. Do you remember what else he had on? Anyone? This is the thing that blew my mind. I remember him as wearing a monocle. Do you guys remember him as the, uh, yeah, Vinnie Doom? Yeah, yeah. I remember him. I went everywhere. Look, no, no, no. Even the old games you can buy. Even like you go back to buy the old games. No monocle, no monocle. Okay, he's saying that's the Mandela effect. Did Mickey Mouse wear suspenders? I remember him wearing suspenders. No, no suspenders. No suspenders on Mickey Mouse. Uh, do you remember? Um, uh, hold on. I saw something on the internet. I want to go into what it was a year ago, and I went back to it in my history, and it was changed. It was different. I even saved the bookmark. So the point is, with all of, with all of this, did something in the past change? Um, did CERN create that effect? Those that work at C, call it a campus. They do small films, they do documentaries. They put one film together called the droid DNA, and then at the beginning it said, this is not an upgrade to your phone. This is an upgrade to you. Okay, so let's talk about C and my favorite top topic, the continent Antarctica. Secretary of State John Kerry went to C. Right after that, he went to A. Went to New Zealand. Then he went to Europe. Many, many people, the Pope always visits C. I believe there are tunnels from the Vatican to C, from C to Antarctica, and from the Vatican, and it forms a triangle. That's what I believe. And I believe they they use them frequently. You know, uh, Jesus said that the, these days would be the days of Noah. Um, the Nephilim exist, and they want to change the, the DNA of man themselves, because how many... Is the Nephilim no longer doing that, overshadowing people and having a child? Uh, I don't know. They're trying to make a hybrid of a, we know this, of a machine and a human being. Okay. Um, major funding source, I told you, is the Vatican. Okay. At the beginning, wasn't the Vatican. It was the Rockefeller Foundation. The original 12 nations donated to it and then private sources through the Rockefeller Foundation. Through the Rockefeller Foundation, they opened that tunnel, that 17 miles at sea. And they did a dedication of that tunnel. It's called the Gothard Tunnel. Um, now, remember, this is a company uh, a, a, a scientific community that's supposed to be concerned with hitting uh, uh, particles and nanoparticles and neurons and protons and electrons all together, smashing them to make our world better. So they have this um, this uh, dedication that was absolutely a ritual to open this Gothard tunnel. Now, again, you can see it all over. YouTube. I'm not going to post it. It is very dark. Some people do not like that coming at them, but I'm going to tell you what it was. Okay. I'm going to give you a blow by blow of what it shows very gingerly. Okay. 
First, it opens with people, uh, people in workers' uniforms, like a hundred of them, walking in lockstep, uh, almost like uh, Germans in, you know, WW2, um, like zombies to this dark drumbeat. Now, remember, this is a scientific laboratory. Then those there was there were flying, swirling around them. And then they landed like hairy um, straw monsters, okay? Like long hair, no eyes, just straw. Then appears in the parade of what's happening uh, a Baphomet, which is Satan with a goat head, okay? And as he's walking, angels are flying over him and floating in midair. And right behind him is the all-seeing eye. Then they depict God supposedly mating with a woman to produce a child. Unclean spirits swirling all around them. They're all dressed in white with veils over their heads. They're all dancing seductively in front of Satan. And all through this, there's shrieking in screaming and demonic music, Satan appears in the background and it depicts that he and a woman have become one and the Antichrist is born. Let me remind you, this is done at sea, a scientific research center. Most of the world believes that. Much of the world is very excited about C. And now they're changing the name to the acronym NERDS. Very cute. I think it's very cute. You know, very cute of them. Um, they're basically acting out the book of Revelation. That's what that is. Go go read the book of Revelation. That's what they're, they're doing. And C was built upon the ground where the Temple of Apollo at one time was built. What is the significance of that? Well, the book of Revelation, chapter 9, 11, verse 11, speaks of Apollo, which means Shiva, the destroyer, the, 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 the statue in the front. It also says Satan is given the key to the bottomless pit. Okay, but I want to remind you of something. Someone had to give him that key. Who was still in control? God. Don't forget that. Revelation said he was given the key. He, that's it. God is still in control, guys. So none of this stuff, and I'm going to play you something at the end that's going to have you shouting. They believe that this ritual could unleash demonic powers through a portal. They believe this activity will open that'll break into another dimension, that these spirits that have been chained will be released into our dimension so that they're loosed on earth and then people will believe that it's the judgment of God. Do you understand? That's why when people say, oh, this is the judgment of God, this is God, it's not the judgment of God. It's not, God is good. This is not the judgment of God. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break things into this dimension. And everybody go, oh my God, the judgment of God. It's because we're so bad. No, no, no. Look up. If my people who are called after my name would humble themselves and pray, I will hear from them and I will heal their land. That's what we're living in right now. Okay? Our land is about to get healed. Not only is our land about to get healed. Our land is about to get Things are going to be released on this earth. And I'll tell you something, as soon as it happens, we're going to have five impact centers all over this country, changing the face if it goes the way we believe it's going to go, changing the face of this country. And we're not alone. Tons of people out there going to do the same thing. So they're trying to change the timeline and accelerate this, okay, now. So remember Jordy Rose? I just spoke about him. Remember the quantum computer? D-Wave, Kindred? Okay. Uh, he wrote an article in 2023 called The Quantum Key to the Pit. Now, 
This is a person that works with Jordy Rose. Jordy Rose started his scientific career at sea. That's who he worked for. Okay. This is the man that works for D Wave and Quantum. And this is him, Anthony Patch. Remember who Anthony Patch was? Remember at the beginning what I said? He is the C researcher. Okay, head researcher. So that's him, works with Jordy Rose. Okay, uh, let's really, let's really have some fun now and hook it all together. Um, he says it in his own words. Okay, let me, all right, let me, nope, can't go there yet. Um, all right, this is what Jordy Rose says. Let me just give it to you straight. He says, look, and he's talking to a room of some of the most brilliant scientists, brilliant high IQ, and they're they're looking to work for Jordy Rose. Okay, they're they're scientists. They're they're all you know mathematicians and astrophysicists. Okay, what they did is he told them in this meeting. I heard it. You can go find it on YouTube. That what he's doing and the AI he's gonna bring forth is gonna wipe out all of their jobs because you can buy an AI, say for 10 bucks, he makes an AI. He sells it for $15, he made $5. All the companies that buy it, no vacation pay, no sick leave, no medical insurance, no, because you got AI and they're smarter than us and they're gonna do more than us, okay? And they're gonna be all loosed on earth and, 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 and wipe, humanity out and everything they're doing it now understand jordy rose is telling this to a group of people looking for a job i don't get it and these people are in there yet going yay i don't understand are they maybe not human i don't know i don't get it but he said we are right here right now we're about a year away this was in 2023 um now i believe elon musk when he said this, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, he sure he can control that demon. Doesn't work out. And he mentions, Jordy Rose mentions Elon Musk. But then he talks about hiring people still. And then he laughs about this, but this is what he shows. Kindred's mission is to be first to human level AI. We are hiring <gasps> demonologists crossed out, software engineers, join us. Those aren't real people, guys. Those are AI people that you're looking at right there. So. Now I'm going to show you, um, let me get this. Where is it? Number, oh, don't even tell me I didn't put it up. Hang on, hang on. Um, nope, that's not it. Guys, you're going to have to hold on a minute. I got to see if I have that. Yes, I didn't put it up. Hold on, putting it up, putting it up right now. I don't you I don't want you guys to miss this. Where are you at? Where are you at? Here we are. Okay, here we are. All right. Here is Jordy Rose. These things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons. They're not evil but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate. And going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying, nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics and what, what's going to be in the health care plan in the U.S., and underneath it all is this rising tsunami that, if we're not careful, is going to wipe us all out. Now, 
th that man says that and still moves forward with it because it's about money. Okay. He's figuring he'll be running it all. You know, we'll just get all wiped out. You know, everybody's all for himself. So um, then, then hold on. There's another one. Um, no, that's, that's the, that's not, I'm, I'm not going to show that one. That's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to show that one. But um, the, he says, these machines are so smart that they will be able to take the tools that we give them and they will be able to make better versions of themselves. Now, I don't know how many of you loved the Terminator series of movies. I loved it. I loved it. I love this stuff. I watched them several times. This is Skynet. This is Skynet. That's what we're dealing with right here. Uh, he says, he says, people, at some point, people are going to be able to be plugged into computers. And, 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 and then we're going to be have everything uploaded to our brain. Um, it, it, and that's called the hive mind. If you want to, if you want to, investigate that. This is called the hive mind. And if you're interested in learning more about that, look up um, Graham Downing. He discusses it in depth. So you got all this stuff you can look into. Okay. So let's tie all this together. Now I told you this is a long one. Um, C does not make their uh, employee list public, but according to those that work with Jordy Rose, he was an employee there. OK, and he started there right out of school and worked there for many, many years and, and now is working with them. OK, um, C started in the 1950s. I told you that 12 countries were involved. Uh, same, pretty much same 12 is uh, except for the United States uh, with the Antarctic Treaty. Um, then here. So how does it how does this all I told you, you can almost take everything uh, we do and we say, and tie it back to Antarctica. We can. How does this tie to there? Well, there's something called the Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica. It is a recognized sea experiment. And what they've done is they put thousands of sen sensors into the Antarctic ice. Now, they said... The point of these high energy neutrinos that they've shoved way down into the ice is that, uh, I gotta read it, they, it could help explain the mystery of the origin of the highest energy cosmic rays. And these energies are high enough that they cannot be contained by the galactic magnetic fields and their gyrority are larger than the radius of the galaxy. So they are believed to come from extra galactic sources. What? What? That's like NASA saying the reason they are, if you didn't hear this, you got to sit down if you're not sitting down. The reason they're shooting rockets at the moon and at the at the uh, the solar eclipse wait here hear this three of them is to find out why when there's a solar eclipse that the earth gets 20 degrees cooler i i can answer that for them you know when you're on the beach and it's 80 degrees and the sun goes down and suddenly it's 60. That's why. That's why. Because the sun's the sun went on the other side of the, the world. That's why. Do you really think they're shooting rockets into the solar eclipse? You know what they're trying to do? That's when the moon is going to be closest to us, where they are in Virginia. They're shooting it out of Virginia. They're trying to hit the moon. They're trying to see if they can hit the moon. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And people... People I know are going, wow, they're shooting, you know, they're, they're really trying to find out about real things. Like, why does it get cooler <laughs> when the sun is, is covered? I have never in my life. So here we are. 
there's a sea project in our favorite continent in the South. And this is what it says about it. It says they're also looking for dark matter and it's called, the project is called Create. Can't make this stuff up, guys. It's called Create, but it's C-R-E with the at sign and then A-T. And it's a detective detection system developed to study the cosmic rays at the South Pole in its relation with atmospheric climate changes, especially clouds formation rate. Listen, this is all connected. Now there's a collider in Ant called Ice Cube. It's all the same thing to contact other dimensions, let them in here, bring forward what is not yet supposed to happen, change the timeline, bring it about, but God. And I say that, but God, and I'm going to end with this powerful, powerful, powerful. So you really remember who is up there right above the firmament and the waters and who is watching is control of every single thing that's happening. Not the bad, the good. Watch this. Made in the image of God. God is not a statue. He speaks, he thinks, he talks, he feels our infirmities. He answers our prayer. He's alive. He's Jehovah Shama, the God who is there. He's Jehovah Nissi, the Lord who is our banner. He's Jehovah Sh Shalom, the God our peace. Pray, pray, pray. God is in heaven saying, what do you need? Do you need healing? Ask in faith, believing, and I will give it. Do you need supernatural wisdom to make a tough decision? Ask of me, and I will lead you in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Do you need peace that surpasses understanding? Ask, 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 for nothing is impossible to those that believe. No good thing will he withhold from those that diligently seeking. Do you need the impossible? Then open your mouth. Open your mouth in faith, believing. You're not talking to the present of the United States. You're not talking to Bill Gates. Both of them together can't control their next breath. You're talking to the creator of heaven and earth. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He uses gold for asphalt on the streets of heaven. He moves mountains. He divides seas. He'll give you wells you didn't dig, vineyards you didn't plant, houses you didn't build. He will make you the head and not the tail because nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible to you. That is what they're trying to control. That. So I'm already almost at one o'clock, but I'm telling you, I set all that up and show you everything that's going on and connected it all so you would see, but God, they're doing this, the best laid plans of mice and men, I'm telling you, nothing they do is going to work. Nothing they do is going to flourish. It's not going to happen. The breath of whoever is in the White House right now depends on God. Whoever it is, very breath depends on God. So that's it. And glory to God. That's who they're fighting. And it, they're never, ever, ever going to win. That's it. Questions. I got a few minutes. <laughs> that's it. I could just, man, I love that. I love that. You share that. Let people see that. That's the God we serve. That's the God that's taken over all this stuff. Solar eclipse, we're going to be gone. All the, I can't stand them any longer. They put all this sensational stuff in a, in a, 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 a title so that you'll watch it. Don't, don't give it to them. Don't do it. Amen. I'm done. Questions. If you don't have any, I'm going to go have lunch. <laughs> Please put three uh, like Renee just said, <laughs> three question marks and I'll, and I'll answer, 
Um, no, they can't stop what's coming. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's exactly. Whoop. Oh, that's good too, though. We're entering a serious blood God season. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All of these are great. Where did you find that video? I've had it for many, many years. I'm so sorry. I have a lot of this stuff. I have tons of folders in a, in a backup drive. And I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know. That's it, Master. I don't know who it is. Um, uh, let's see. Does the Vatican-owned telescope in, in Arizona called Lucifer tie into certain type of... Yeah, absolutely, Rebecca. Absolutely, Rebecca. It's all tied together. I'm going to show you guys... Um, I'm going to show you guys when I do the thing on food, how tied together it truly is. Uh, yeah, that that was John uh, John Hagee. That was. I just don't know where who you know where it is. So you put in John Hagee, and you'll uh, and you'll you'll you know you'll find something. But I don't know. It's from a few years back. Okay. Um, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, that is. Um, I don't know if, if the bridge is Jaybird or connected. I don't really want to go down that road. Um, uh, you know, Samantha, I was looking. Do you see 666 on the nerds thing? I was looking. Um, it is possible that that could be there. I'm sure it's hidden somewhere in there. Um, uh, do you think Notre Dame was connected to all of this? If not, you do a show why Notre Dame was burned down the night before Easter Sunday. <laughs> oh, God, that so much. Queen Esther, so much on that. So much on that. Uh, all I'm going to tell you is, and I can't go down this road, but it is connected. But look at the originator, the, the founder of Notre Dame. It's going to bring you down a hole. That's all you got to do. Do that. Um yeah, uh, let's see. Nerd studying the sub nanoseconds could be the studying of the twinkle of the eye. Hey, uh, Kai Kami could be very. I don't see. I do not. Um, this isn't a question, Cam, but I'll put it. The Lord sits in the heavens and laughs. He does. I I don't put anything but past them. Their their pride. You have to understand. Satan fell because of pride. Those that serve him have as much. You understand? So they truly believe that they can do this. They truly believe it. And those that serve them believe it as well. And those that are paying people to say it will happen. That's why I tell you, do not give them clickbait. Do not click on them. You're giving them money. You notice there's no ads on this. I'm not making money from this. I Don't give it to them. Don't do it. Don't do it. At some point, we've got to, the curiosity has got to stop. Yeah, John Hagee. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, yes, they know they're running out of time. They're panicking, Frank. They're panicking. There's a, a panic. Um, the big reveal of what is really going on, the poke of the Vatican will blow the minds of so many, especially Catholics. I am Catholic, and I can really see what's going on. Listen, I was I was as well, Renee. I'm nothing now. I don't believe, I don't believe that denominations is of God. I don't believe God's Catholic or Protestant or Presbyterian or Episcopal or I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe that's man-made. It's man-made. A couple more. Um, uh, I, that's another whole thing about the solar eclipse. Uh, let me, let me say, let me just say this since I mentioned it menacing. Yeah. The rocks that are going up during the solar eclipse, if he hits the moon, it will ring like a bell. <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to, my feeling, and I could be completely wrong. I don't, you know, I could, I could probably looking through scripture, I could probably find this somewhere, but maybe not. I believe that um, the, the luminaries that uh, God has in the sky, which is uh, mostly the, in the, the word says uh, moon and the sun and the moon, the stars as well. Uh, but to a lesser degree, I believe they are guarded. There's a, there's a, a supernatural guard around them. So it's not like, you know, um, I have a, a, a light bulb and I have a, 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 a something hit it and it shatters. I don't think that's possible with God. I don't think God makes things that are there forever until he wants to, you know, he's not a man 
that he would make something destructible by men. So I think, I don't think, I, I, I think that there, I, I just, yeah, I just don't think any of that is, is capable. And I've got the word of God um, uh, to back me up. Uh, Lucas is trying to get to heaven without going through Christ. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Absolutely. They're, they think they're, they think they can. They think they can. That pride. It's the pride. Um, uh, what about the preachers who always preach with a globe on the stage or have a symbol in their logo or the gatekeepers? Uh, you know what, Jabez? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of them may not know. You know, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, a lot of that is still, I question. I'm in the middle of a lot of things. Uh, many, many things. Although I know it's not this. But um, I think they may not know. Or they're part. Or Jabez, they're a part of it. I don't know. But I, I can't. I can't make that decision. Um, uh, uh, I saw a prophet saying he was closing a portal over CERN. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Who, who, they, who does he think he is? Elijah? I don't even think Elijah could do it. Closing a portal over CERN? I don't know. This stuff, everybody's doing everything. Hey, I just, you know what? I just opened a portal in Massachusetts. <laughs> Problem is you can't prove it. See, you can't prove it. All this stuff you can't prove. I give you things you can prove. I'm going to the bottom uh, because um, I, I just, I'm going to go up and see a couple more. Okay, that's it. I think, uh, okay, F last one, uh, Jaybird. Do they actually believe they can defeat God's plan? Or are they just going down in flames trying to take us with them? The enemy and his servants mock and mimic all that God created. Uh, Jaybird, I actually believe they are more out than in. They are more out of control than they are in control. I'm not a fool. I see what's around me. I see what's happening. People want to insist on things. Most things you can look at and it's common sense. Just, just use common sense. And you go, wait a minute. Why would blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I got very, I get very excited. Someone wrote something to me today. And it made me realize how many of you that were not are now becoming critical thinkers. And you're like, wait a minute, you want me over here? What's going on over there? Or why isn't this what everybody is saying? And watch the people who say things and then they don't come true, which is mostly everybody that I know of in and out of the church. So I don't know what I don't know what to say. All right. I'm 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 going to. Um, uh, yeah. Menace Muskrat, I said that. Um, C is uh, is built over uh, an ancient temple of Apollo. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Okay, so guys, um, that's it for today. I, I, you know, this topic now, and I mean this, um, go back and watch this again. Take down names. This is very important. Uh, there was a couple of questions. Go see if you can find it out. You will be surprised at what you will discover on your own that will give you such hope. And really, it'll, it'll feed your spirit that what is happening is not going to happen the way hell is saying it's going to happen. And anyone that's saying that really is not hearing from God. It's not that time yeah, it's not. There's so much that needs to be fulfilled. There's so, it's just not that time yet. And if you get in the word of God and you and you you read it, you will understand that it's not time yet. So help us out. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. I love this show. Thank you, Delora. Um, thank you all for being being part of my life and allowing me to do this and, and listening to me. Thank you, all of you sincerely. And how you can help me is by helping us fund um, the gatherings and the impact centers. I always tell you, I got two ways I do it. Uh, this way is, uh, look at this. This is a beautiful top, size down, if you, if you, because it's very loose, very stretchy, um, in at joincountry.com and go to Dolores Closet or go to the links in the description. 
Um, there's only seven left. I have a feeling they might be gone, though. People probably went already. J Jenna brought this over to me yesterday in gold, the Psalm 91, needed right now. And the jewel and the and the and the angel wing, just love it. And remember, guys, free shipping always on all US people from the US. Um, and we call that Jenna's on because my daughter Jenna did all this. And uh, if it's your first time person, welcome 10 and get 10% off. Okay. And uh, we are taking it back. Go there. Help us out. See how the way we do it as well. You'll get notified. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Uh, Wednesday. I will see you. Not sure where I'm going to go, but you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I love doing these. I'm so hungry after here, though, I could eat like my paper. I'm just like starving. So I'm going to go and grab something for lunch. You go do the same. Go eat pie. I have pie from yesterday, Cindy. I have some left. I'm going to go eat pie. Anyway, love you, love you, love you. See you over at joyandcountry.com, and I'll see you Wednesday. And remember, always, and I mean it, go in the power of God. Have an awesome day, everybody. Love you dearly.